So the, the prize was given for the manipulation of single quantum particles, the possibility to isolate uh, a system made of a few photons and to manipulate and observe it without destroying the photons. Usually when you detect light, you destroy it. And here we are able to detect light, to detect the light quanta without destroying them. And so it's interesting because this manipulation can teach us things about quantum principles and possible applications. I think it means a lot. I think really we are lucky now in, in physics or in science in general, uh, we are lucky to, to live and to work in a world community and to be able to share with people who live in different countries but who have the same drive for curiosity-driven research and who really want to understand nature. And, and I think this is really fantastic. And so this was really, uh, I could feel that today. In 2012, I shared the Nobel Prize with Serge Hiroche for our work on simple atomic and photonic quantum systems. Tonight was basically a reprise of my Nobel lecture and, and by design the, the Nobel lectures are, are supposed to be our story of you know what led to our, our research and uh, so it's a, it's a fun talk to give because you know we basically get to recount our our, our careers and the work that led up to the, to the things we're cited for. APS has always been very strong. It's been the organization for physicists in the, in the U.S. It's always, since I was a student, it provided kind of a, a contact point for, for the whole community. And, so, and it still does that. So I think, you know, it's, it's, it's the, I would say the organization, you know, that, that, uh, in the U.S. That, that binds us together. I enjoy it actually. And it was really, really fascinating to get idea right from Nobel laureates. From the people who got Nobel Prize because it's so clear, so nicely explained, and maybe it will get an idea where to go. That's the most important point. First of all, I'm just obviously grateful for the opportunity to actually hear a Nobel laureate speak in his own words and have as much time as he wants to talk about his work. But it was just a cool experience to just see so many physicists in this room and to be able to really experience this. 